How we harness our babies in the car seat is a critical part of keeping them safe. Not only does it best protect them in the event of a car crash, but it also keeps our babies without neck control safely breathing. Watch this video to check out how to know when your harness is at the right level of tightness. I want you to just step back and think big picture with me. In order for our kiddos to be safely buckled in their car seat, we don't want their bodies to move, right? We wanna limit that movement so they're best protected in a crash, especially keeping their head, neck, brain, spine, exactly how we need it to be to withstand those crash forces, but also because we need their heads back and their airways open. For our newborn babies, their trachea is about the size of a straw. We need that straw to be free and clear where that airway is completely open. If there's any bend in the airway, which can happen if we don't properly harness our kiddos in the seat or have it at the proper recline, we risk cutting off their airway, something that we're not gonna let happen. So once you've got all the proper harness fit adjustments made, which we did in a previous video, so check that out if you need help. We use what's called the pinch test to test for harness tightness. And that's done up here at the collarbone. So in between where the chest clip is and the top of the shoulder. But before I show you that, I want to remind you that the entire harness needs to be tight. And we may be able to pinch to feel for slack up here or not, but there could be some hidden slack hiding around the legs. You want to make sure to get that out first. So what I like to do is wiggle the chest clip down a little bit so I don't, you know, whack it into his face. Pull up here and make sure that we've got no slack down here. This is gonna help ensure that Adrian's body is staying flat against the back of the car seat. And grab your harness tightener, pull out any extra slack if there is some, wiggle your chest clip into place. And now we're ready to do the pinch test. Are you ready? You're ready. If your infant seat has shoulder harness pads like this one does, and you're able to just pop them open, do that. So if you don't have the ability to open up your shoulder harness pads, they're like sewn together, you can simply push them back towards the back of the shoulder to do this pinch test. But this one obviously has those that clip in place. So I've unclipped them. And now let me show you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my pincher fingers, pinch up here by the collarbone. I can't pinch any slack. Now, that may not be enough to convince you that the harness is tight. All right, so we decided to call that because it was time for Adrian to eat. And I wanna make sure you can really see what the pinch test is. So this is our doll in the car seat. Same principle, whether you're buckling in a doll or your little kid, your newborn, or your big kid. I should tell you that. This does not matter. The pinch test applies the entire time your kiddo is harnessed in the seat. So learn the technique once, use it for the entire duration that your kid is in a harness seat. You're gonna hear a lot of different ways that you're supposed to check the harness for tightness. If it's not what I'm showing you now, it's incorrect. <laughs> the only way to test for harness tightness is to pinch up here by the collarbone. I'm not even gonna say the things that other people say because I don't wanna reiterate them. Do this to know if your harness is nice and tight. Now, if pinching up here at the collarbone after you've gotten all the slack out from around the legs as well, if it's still leaving you a little bit uneasy, then I want you to try the reverse pinch test. Simply loosen the harness just a little bit, enough to purposely pinch slack up here by the collarbone, and then pull the tightening strap until it just slides out of your fingers. Now we know that that harness is nice and tight. Reattach your shoulder harness pads if you have a seat that has them and are using them. Do the final check for all things harnessing while you're in the vehicle at a proper recline angle. And this little kiddo is ready to ride. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel. And if you need help with anything related to the infant stage, check out our infant course. I'll see you in the next one.